We operate 700 beehives through the southwest of Western Australia. Um, our honey is sold to Capilano and we produce pollen which is sold to Saxon Bee Enterprises. We run a fairly robust biosecurity system through the barrier management system which is uh, each bee box goes back on the same beehive every time and we do that to minimise the spread of um, mainly American fowl brood but also helps with control of chalk brood as well and we've been doing that uh, for 30 years and it definitely helps minimise the spread of any diseases. Each apiary that we have has 112 beehives. They are on 28 pallets. So we number our pallets from 1 to 28 and the hives on each pallet is red, yellow, green and blue. And by doing that we um, can ensure that the boxes go back onto the same hive each time and we've, we've done it in that way to try and keep it as simple as possible so anybody can follow it. To minimise any um, misplacement of equipment, we've, we've numbered the box. The box is numbered by the pallet number, which for example is pallet number one, red hive, so that indicates where the hive goes. So that, that super or bee box will go onto that hive all the time and also the frames inside those bee boxes, the outside frame on each super is numbered to indicate which super it, or hive it belongs to. With training, it's on, on the job. Uh, before we actually go out to the apiaries, I'll just give a, a, a basic rundown on how our numbering system works and the colour code and, and so on. And then when we get out to the apiaries, it's then uh, a physical demonstration. It's very simple, only takes a few moments. I've been documenting everything for 30 years as to what we do. Uh, we've, we've developed a system that's very simple. It's just a matter of ticking a few boxes. We normally do that every day after we've worked the bees. The bee quality assurance forms that we fill out are audited by an independent auditor each year and they will come out and check your documents for, um, for what you've written and then yeah, we also take honey samples and, and keep them as well for any, any case of recall or anything like that. If we uh, do capture swarms, we will always put it into brand new equipment, so new box, new frames, and then we keep it separate for at least two rounds of brood, just to monitor it and make sure that there's no um, infection with AFB in particular. Once we're happy with that, we'll actually requeen the swarm, and then it'll be introduced to apiary. And that, because we run a barrier system, that swarm will be in that box forever, so you're not actually spreading any equipment, um, and we found that that's quite successful. The barrier system does not stop you from getting any diseases, but it does stop you from spreading it.